And my second point, last month, um, I directed our horse racing and power mutual wagering division to examine the matter of licensed trainers owing significant back pay to workers, including hundreds of um, thousands of dollars in H-2B back wages. Most trainers in New York and, and workers at New York racetracks comply with the law. What we learned of trainers not paying workers, we hold them accountable. For example, a trainer was recently ordered by the U.S. Department of Labor for, to pay $204,999 in back wages, for, uh, fines, and penalties. This is not the first time that this particular trainer and his stable have been ordered to pay back wages. According, the commission requested the trainer to provide appropriate employment records as part of its review. The commission also requested the trainer to explain why he believes he continues to meet the New York State standards uh, for licensure. We, are, we have received that response and are, receive, and are reviewing that in terms of any potential future actions. To to, in the future, to properly identify any licensees engaging in bad labor practice, we forge a partnership with the New York State Department of Labor so the commission is notified when complaints regarding a trainer's business practices spur an investigation. This bridges the regulatory gap so that when we learn of trainers engaged in practices that shortchange their employees, we can consider further action regarding the licenses. This should be fair warning to all. Just as we expect our equine athletes to be treated with dignity and respect, so too we expect all who work in the industry to be treated similarly with dignity and respect. I want to thank the Department of Labor, New York State Department of Labor and Commissioner Roberta Reardon for continuing to partner with us to protect the thousands of workers who take care of racehorses. And I can assure you commissioners and, and the general public that this commission does not take those type of violations lightly. 